some friends criticized me that in my previous video on on uh, on ketogenic diet i didn't convince uh, people uh, so i didn't give enough uh, reasons to to change from standard diet to ketogenic to uh, diet with uh, to and getting most of calories from fat so now i hope with this presentation it will be more convincing so when diet is wrong the medicine is off and no use when diet is correct medicine is off no need this is a, a common saying and now we have a dilemma should we pay the farmer now for good food healthy food or we should pay pharma later the world health health organization uh, predicts that two thirds of all diseases worldwide will be the result of uh, lifestyle choices bad lifestyle choices already next about next year so it's about now and we have we see uh, epidemics of obesity uh, type 2 diabetes and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease dental caries cardiovascular disease and various chronic diseases is there a common reason for this yes i believe so i believe that the problem and uh, that of the and the reason of all these complications is in our food so in end of 70s uh, the, our food diet changed quite uh, uh, quite a lot so it was recommended to base our diet uh, on consumption of more uh, carbohydrates then uh, with small amount we have to consume uh, vegetables and then fruits and some in even lesser amount milk and uh, dairy product and further smaller amount of, uh, of uh, fish and meat and some even further smaller amount of some confectory and uh, sweet products the standard american uh, food is very much unhealthy it includes fried uh, fried uh, pate fried uh, french fries and uh, pizza and the uh, hamburgers and hot dog and uh, sweet uh, uh, sparkling uh, drinks and very various kind of uh, uh, bread and uh, so it is not healthy certainly not healthy and we have such situations that now every third one from three uh, uh, americans with uh, white skin of european origin uh, suffer from obesity and overweight while uh, adults of uh, african and mexican origin every second one suffer from obesity and overweight even children now suffer from obesity by research of world uh, health organization mexico in the in the worst condition so they have more than 70 percent of uh, adults suffer from obesity and overweight while in japan uh, the uh, number of obese uh, people is only few percent it's even in another research uh, it was uh, uh, demonstrated that only 12 percent of american uh, americans can be considered as metabolically healthy people only 12 percent so 80 uh, a large majority of people are, are metabolically unhealthy so what happened in the end of uh, 70s so intake of animal fats and red meat and eggs and dairy products was sharply reduced low fat food products flooded the market uh, such as uh, low fat yogurt and low fat uh, milk and etc uh, etc et intake of ultra processed food increased like chips and the various chips and pizza and uh, and the bread and the sweets use of vegetable oils uh, was was introduced and in, increased a lot 
Vegetable oils, actually not vegetable oils, they are seed oils and they can comprise mostly unsaturated uh, fat acids. And then also a lot of uh, restaurants uh, of junk food uh, with takeaway food uh, got, uh, got very popular in America and everywhere, also now everywhere in the world. So, and then this uh, happened exactly in time when this low fat uh, uh, guidelines and uh, recommendations were uh, introduced to, to, to the, to the uh, our diet. And we see that from that, that time, amount of obese people is growing and growing and growing. And uh, even now in the uh, 21st century, some category of people is uh, suffer, uh, growth of obese people even uh, higher. This recommendation to change and to reduce uh, fat, fat consumption were based on some research published in uh, that the time uh, and when seven countries were compared from Japan to United States and uh, with these seven countries it was quite uh, uh, visible that uh, Japan has low fat consumption and then it has low heart disease, heart death uh, rate while United States has high fat consumption and it has high uh, heart rate, uh, high, high rate of heart disease, heart uh, death. So, but if uh, actually we uh, take uh, all, st st uh, all data available to that time from 22 countries, uh, that then we will see that there is no such clear uh, evidence, so, so such dependence of uh, fat consumption and uh, heart disease, heart uh, death. It's no, not so, so you cannot be, uh, give uh, any, any recommendation uh, from this uh, data. What else? Okay, we have animal fats, uh, which include uh, fats from birds, and we have plant fats. Plant fats are actually oils, uh, which comprise mostly uh, unsaturated uh, fatty acids. While animal fats are solid at room temperature and comprise saturated uh, fat, fatty acids. So, introduction of these vegetable oils uh, is so so huge that at supermarket and shopping malls we see great amount, great various uh, these vegetable oils which are marketed as healthy replacement to the uh, animal fat. Simultaneously, uh, margarine uh, or uh, margarine or products which are produced from vegetable oils by uh, by a reaction of uh, vegetable oils with hydrogen in presence of catalyst, and so that uh, so some number of uh, unsaturated uh, chemical bonds uh, got saturated, and then uh, these <coughs> oils are uh, converted to more saturated. Fat, but it's also comprised trans uh, tra with uh, uh, trans fat. Trans fat is very dangerous, very uh, it's uh, toxic for our bodies. Meanwhile, the uh, margarine was marketed as better f as, an, uh, as a replacement of butter, so it, it 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 even can have some healthy additives. <coughs> But really, if we will make simple experiment and put uh, we put butter and uh, to the kind of various kinds of margarine to the to the uh, dish, and we will allow ants to check to take uh, this to decide what, to, to to decide what uh, kind of fat they, they would consume. They take only natural butter. They are not so stupid as humans. Also, if we take this plot with a um, uh, number of heart disease deaths and consumption of saturated uh, fat, uh, we see that uh, consumption of saturated fat or uh, animal fat did not, uh, did not inc was not increasing during the, the, the uh, 20th century. But uh, the rate of uh, heart death 
heart disease deaths were increasing sharply and surprisingly the amount of uh, vegetable oils uh, rate of um, uh, consumption of vegetable oils was growing also very uh, very much so we see rather that uh, that heart disease deaths are connected to consumption of vegetable oils than to saturated fat moreover Cooking with the vegetable oils uh, produces toxic uh, uh, chemicals. Uh, if we take 10 minute heating time, then uh, amount of these toxic substances may be not, not very, very, very high, but even then uh, the best uh, oil for cooking is coconut oil, which is, uh, consists almost from all, uh, almost completely consists of uh, saturated fat. While and then if we take 20 and 30 minutes, then uh, an amount of toxic substances is growing in a tremendous way uh, for, in, for frying in sunflower and corn oil. Even, even uh, extra virgin olive oil is not so good for, to fry, uh, to, for cooking by frying. And <clears throat> a typical meal of fish and chips fried in vegetable oil contains as much as 100, 200 times more toxic substances than the safe daily limit which is uh, set by uh, World Health Organizations. And at market, uh, at, at uh, shopping malls and uh, supermarkets, we see a great amount of processed food which can, uh, mostly uh, is made uh, with a lot of sugar, a lot of vegetable oils and grains. The companies, uh, corporations producing this junk food are getting a, a lot of money from, uh, from this. And uh, especially uh, this junk food uh, at, uh, is proposed for kids. Uh, so various corn flakes and uh, then uh, loops and uh, other, other stuff is proposed for healthy breakfast for kids. But how much sugar is in this healthy uh, breakfast? If we take uh, some most healthy, it is health star ra rating 4.5, so it's very high, uh, estimated as very healthy product. So what we, we will see in this, so it, it, such breakfast is uh, comprised some little amount of added vitamins and uh, have starch and corn syrup and fructose and has a lot of vegetable oil it has soy protein which is good only for pigs and has uh, wheat dextrin which is carbohydrates and has a lot of a lot of sugar and also as it is based on on uh, uh, on milk it has uh, uh, some milk powder and of course water various kind of uh, drinks nowadays cannot be uh, cannot be uh, the, uh, without sugar additives even uh, uh, apple juice um, may comprise five teaspoon per 200 milliliters of juice five teaspoon of a uh, of uh, two apple juice five it's a lot and uh, what else uh, coca-cola also comprise 16 teaspoons 16 teaspoons for a standard bottle of 600 milliliter amount and um, it's like sport uh, a boosting uh, drinks for sport for boosting our immune system for our bodies and it's, it has so healthy name like boost juice blueberry blast and the low fat smoothie so it is a really uh, uh, looks very uh, like uh, very healthy and very attractive name but in reality it has 22 teaspoon of sugar 20 teaspoon of sugar a lot of sugar so drink coca-cola get fat and all these uh, soft drinks they uh, lead to consumption of these soft drinks uh, lead to obesity diabetes allergy uh, hunger because people uh, who consume uh, sugar they starving they, they every three hours they they, they start starving from hunger and they want to consume anything sweet would it be 
a soft drink or would it be some uh, fries uh, some kind of cookies and diabetes can be as awful like this so that uh, the uh, that uh, it can lead to amputation of legs so there was this guy named Ansel and he said grain is good fat is bad and based on his proposal this ba uh, this food pyramid was uh, was uh, developed and this food pyramid uh, assumes that we have to eat uh, our uh, food should mostly base on grains this would be bre uh, bread and uh, and some pasta and uh, pizza and cookies and a lot of uh, grains and it has to be from 6 to 11 servings a day can you imagine 6 to 11 servings a day of this uh, this uh, grain based uh, products and vegetable uh, only three five servings a day but also a lot fruits two four servings a day milk yogurt and cheese two three servings a day and in, in, in a small amount and fish and uh, meat in uh, in further small amounts and also only two three servings a day and in some even small amount uh, we have to consume fat fat and oil and also sweets but if we look at grain products like bread and pasta and uh, and uh, grain so what it's actually all the same as uh, sugar because even if we eat and this is not sweet in our stomach in our guts it converts to uh, glucose and glucose is sugar so we consume a lot of uh, sugar with this uh, carbohydrates. So before this uh, food pyramid was accepted, there was some uh, fight maybe like this. So that between two directions, one direction that uh, that John Yutkin uh, uh, warned that that sugar consumption a lot of sugar and carbohydrates is very dangerous for health while this Atkin, Atkins uh, Atkin, uh, Atkins uh, uh, person he uh, proposed to base our diet on carbohydrates and this uh, food pyramid was very much supported by corporations like coca-cola McDonald's, PepsiCo, Mars, Nestle, so they were all talking about balanced, uh, healthy lifestyle, that uh, balanced diet and the lifestyle, which is absolutely wrong. Another uh, misunderstanding was that, uh, that uh, this diet and uh, daily consumption was based on calories. And calories were kind of considered uh, as equal if we the same so 800 calories from sugar were considered the same as 800 calories from fish and uh, and uh, butter well, well it is not the same for sure and uh, again it was considered that okay you get in uh, more calories you have to uh, get, go uh, and make more exercises it doesn't work it just doesn't work and such uh, tables were proposed uh, with um, uh, to present high calorie food like butter, like uh, nuts, and uh, uh, as uh, very very unhealthy. So it's uh, the food which has to be avoided. While fruits uh, were considered healthy and uh, low calories uh, product. But in reality what we have sugar makes uh, us hungry so every three hours we are craving to eat something sweet uh, yeah. then carbohydrates make us fat because uh, our body is uh, not cannot store uh, carbohydrates only small amount of glycogen uh, carbohydrate in the form of glycogen can be stored in uh, our liver and in our muscles but the rest uh, uh, our body converts to fat 
and put it uh, to uh, any everywhere. And next, polyunsaturated oils, which are so-called vegetable oils, they make us sick, inflamed, and actually uh, lead to high rate of uh, uh, heart disease, heart, heart death, and uh, uh, and cancer. What is alternative? What what can we do to reverse this uh, uh, unhealthy uh, trade trend? We can go to ketogenic diet. Ketogenic diet is based on uh, consumption of more fat. So we, instead of carbohydrates, in the using of carbohydrates as a source of energy, we will use uh, fats as a source of energy. And this ketogenic uh, diet uh, is, uh, shows promise for treating Alzheimer, Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, autism, depression, migraines, and cancer. Typical uh, food for, uh, for, uh, for uh, ketogenic diet is presented at this slide. And we see cold butter and we see fish and fatty meat and uh, also coconut oil. Coconut oil is very healthy because it comprises mostly uh, saturated fat. And even uh, olive oil is promoted as a healthy oil. But it is not so, so good. We, we saw it previously that uh, it, it cannot be uh, used for frying, so only for salad, only consumed uh, in a cold, uh, as, a, as a cold oil with, for salads. What is the situation? It is a very strange situation that if we will follow some various uh, ketogenic diets with uh, increased amount of fat consumption, we certainly will have uh, will, will improve our health. Our uh, our weight will be reduced, and uh, the level of cholesterol and will be reduced in in blood. It uh, uh, blood pressure will be reduced to normal uh, uh, numbers, and then uh, with high increase in physical uh, abilities, physical performances, and mental performances uh, also. And yet, doctors warn us that a low-carb diet is bad for your health. This is incredible. This is incredible. Even they, uh, uh, the diabetes, diabetes is the intolerance uh, of carbohydrates. So it's natural to, be, to exclude carbohydrates from, from, from your diet if you have diabetes. But yet, doctors insist that you have to use Carbohydrates, you have to eat carbohydrates. This is incredible. Okay, that's all. So you see that, uh, that the ketogenic diet can be a good alternative and uh, the reversal of this trend uh, of increased uh, death rate, increased uh, can cancer rate and something. And instead, and so we can return to more healthy Full, uh, more healthy uh, uh, lifestyle, more healthy uh, diet, which was 100 years ago when we uh, never used uh, vegetable oils. Vegetable oils were considered as uh, products for maybe for soap, uh, to produce a soap, but not for, for uh, consumption uh, as food, not considered as food. And uh, frying and cooking was done was mostly with lard and uh, towel and uh, uh, and also so other kind of uh, vegetable uh, other kind of animal fats and bird fat was very much popular also at that time. I remember in in my time that uh, uh, my grandparents were, were making sausages and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, storing. Uh, Lard for winter uh, winter time they were storing lard and uh, for consumption during the, the year and uh, it was very very healthy food I liked it very very much when I was young so this maybe made me more healthy than the normal people uh, the, the average person okay that's all you see that uh, I will make some more presentation okay, on ketogenic diet and maybe with some more recommendations. And with my uh, my uh, experience on it, so my opinion on this on that, so okay, 
and I, I wish uh, I, will, I will convince more people uh, with these facts that we have to turn from uh, consumption of uh, uh, carbohydrates to consumption of fat. So from uh, low fat to low carbohydrates. Okay, that's all. Have a good day. Don't forget to, uh, to subscribe to this channel.